I just saw a little bit of my video. I did some playback and oh Lord, my eye shadow is blue. I kind of look like a clown. Don't worry, I don't step out of the house looking like this. Oh no, actually I am because I'm going to send back the items I'm not keeping. So I hope I don't run into anybody I know. Hey, my name is Roxana and welcome to my neck of the woods. These woods are a bit different. You can definitely see the green. You can definitely see some of the trees and you can also see my ring light. You know, it is what it is. Let's just get started. This is stitch fix number 13 for me. Did Carlin send me items that I cannot part with? It is also my birthday month. 13 is usually my lucky number. So is it this time? Stick around and you will find out. Now, before I go into all the details of the box, let me just give you a down and dirty of what Stitch Fix is all about. It's a clothing subscription box. You get a stylist and for $20 styling fee, she chooses five items that and puts it in your box well it can be a he in my case is carlin it's a she i've stuck with carlin for a while because she really does do a really super good job on picking some great items for me but <laughs> i'm sorry i'm getting carried away that styling fee gets applied to any of the five items that you keep shipping is always free to and from they give you an envelope it's easy peasy it's self-addressed you just put the items that doesn't work for you in the envelope and take it to the post office you get three days to decide what you want to keep and what you don't want to keep if you keep all five items then you get a 25 percent discount so let's get started this skirt it's a maxi skirt look how beautiful it is i like flowered anything it has a side slip it is super soft. I like that uh, very much about it. It's very affordable. $48 is the Colette Celestia Brushed Knit Maxi Skirt in blue. When I saw it in the, in the preview, like I said, I always peek. I thought, hmm, I don't know. I'll have to try it on. And I did try it on. Of course, it's too long. It always is too long because I'm only 5'2". The problem with it or there's not really any problem with it i tried it on with two different white tops and a khaki tops you can see that right here in the preview and none of the none of these three tops work for me that is the main reason why i'm returning this skirt is because i don't have anything in my closet that i can wear it with and i'm trying to be more mindful of what I buy. Now this skirt is made in, and I'm more mindful of how I spend my money. This skirt is made in the USA, and I want to keep it just for that reason. It is also machine wash, so it's easy care. But uh, you know, it is so hard to find items made in the USA, especially items that are so soft and i i like it very much but i'm trying not to spend too much money again there's nothing in the closet that's working with the skirt right now so that is the main reason why i'm returning it but dang it all i hate returning something that's made in the usa now there's a way where you can peek in the box and see what you're getting before you actually get the box home and I always peek. I can't help but not peek. So I was super excited about these earrings. I thought for sure I was going to keep them. You can see they came in broken. I don't know what happened with the footage that I talk more about these earrings, but in the end I ended up exchanging them. So a unbroken pair is on the way. They are $36. Carlin does know that I like items that are made in the USA and she sends me that as much as possible but you know sometimes that can be a little difficult. Okay so let's talk about 
this lovely dress. It's a summer silky dress. I like it very much, but I don't like it. <laughs> the reason why I don't like, I like the idea a whole lot. I love the fact that it stays on pretty well on the shoulders. You can move around and it stays put. I like the ruffles on the bottom. That's kind of my jam. I like the sleeves, the whole outfit, but because it, it's it's a little too big for me, so I tried wearing it without a belt, and that didn't. Well, it comes with a belt, and that didn't work. Having the belt on, I know I'm gonna constantly be tugging and pulling at it, so it's not gonna be a very comfortable skirt or dress. This dress. This dress is by Gold Ray and it's an Arabella off the shoulder sh uh, off the shoulder satin dress. It's made in Vietnam. Now I couldn't find really anything bad about Vietnam when it comes to clothing making. And let me tell you, it is 100% polyester, but I tell you it sure as heck feels like silk and it's it is machine wash so it is easy care it just doesn't work for me because of the way it fits like i said i don't, I don't really i want something easy going this is 74 dollars and i would constantly be tugging and pulling and it just wouldn't look right staying put and not to repeat myself but it looks like i'm gonna do it anyway it just doesn't look very nice without the belt when I saw this top in the preview, I thought, oh, this is gonna be problematic because I don't have a nude color uh, strapless bra and it definitely needs a strapless bra for this neckline, which I absolutely love. And I didn't know how it was going to fit. I didn't realize it was such a flowy material from the preview and I thought it was gonna be a little too clingy around my midline. That's not the case at all. This item actually fits me the best. I thought for sure I was going to keep this. To tell you the truth, after the preview, I thought I was gonna keep the whole box because everything looked exactly like I liked it. Do you see there's a um, sort of like a Mexican vibe theme to this box? There's definitely bright colors. I guess the blue eyeshadow works well for this box and I love vibrant bright colors. It's totally up my alley. The two reasons why I'm sending this back, first of all, it's made in Guadalajara and I'm not sure exactly how uh, garment workers are treated there. I tried to look it up online, but I didn't quite find it. But the other reason is it is $54, it's a little bit pricey and I would have to buy a white pair of jeans. You see it in the try on with these, the only white pair of pants that I have. I've had those pants for years and I think it's time for me to get white jeans and I'm not really, or a white pair of pants that are better fabricated or better tailored and I'm just not ready to do that right now. I may be losing some weight this summer and I don't know if I want to invest in that and that's the two main reasons why I'm returning it but I think it's a beautiful top. I hope this is not something I'm gonna regret. I really do like the way it fits on me. When I saw this red number, this red tear drop dress, I thought, oh yes, for sure I'm going to keep this dress. It, I, I thought if it fits, I'm going to keep it. Well, guess what? It doesn't quite fit. I even thought about it, I'm gonna go see my parents at the end of the month, and I even thought about having my dad alter it. I'm not going to keep it. It just doesn't, after thinking about it for more than three days, if three days is not enough for you, you can extend it. And I definitely extended it. I got two more days to make up my mind. It just doesn't work for me because it's it's just too big. And I don't wanna, I wanna go see my dad. I'm already having him altered some other things for me and I don't think it's worth it. now. 
you know, it's my cousin, she said it when she saw this dress, she said it's not gonna be very practical. It's more of a special occasion dress and you definitely can make it a special occasion dress. I like the way it works with the brown belt and the brown shoes and I also like the way I paired it with that um, thingamajiggy, what do you call it? Um, I don't know, smuck, whatever you call it. Anyhow, so I do like, but it, it is definitely more of a special occasion dress. Not that I ever need a special occasion to like something, to wear something that I like. I just, $84, you know, I think it's an okay uh, price for a dress. It, this is the Truly Poppy Dominica Lace Midi Dress. And uh, it is made in China. No, it is hand wash cold, but uh, you know, I think it's okay because it's it's a beautiful dress. I would definitely hand wash it with cold. It's got lace, so if you like lace, this is totally up your alley. I do think it's got a Mexican theme to it, that's for sure, a Spanish uh, theme to it. I hope I don't regret sending this back. It's just that I do have quite a bit of clothing I'm watching my money this summer. You know, I don't wanna work overtime just for the clothes. I do have quite a bit of clothes. I have enough clothes. So yeah, unfortunately, it's going back too. Really, I hate the fact that I'm sending everything back, but at the same time, I like it because I'm not spending money. I am trying to watch my money, like I kept on saying it this whole video, and I am watching it. The whole box is $296. If you get the whole box, which would have been 25% off, it would have been $74 minus $74. The whole box would have been $222. Now, I don't have a styling fee because I paid $49 where I get no styling fee for a whole year. So, you know, that did help my, my mind to send everything back. If I had already paid $20, I probably would have kept the skirt because it was made in the USA. She did wonderful. Carlin did wonderful. I like the whole theme of the box. Definitely got that whole Spanish Mexican vibe to it with the ruffles and the lace and the vibrant colors. Absolutely. I liked everything. Like, I'm not gonna go through why I'm sending everything back because you already know. So listen, if you like these type of videos and you like what you see when it comes to my videos, please click and subscribe. I also am growing my roots, so I do hair videos too. I kind of do beauty and style and whatever else flows my boat. I end all of my videos on a note of gratitude. Today, I am grateful for Christine Rose L. She did a little mini series on journal writing, but it's a different kind of journal writing. It's a flow journal writing, and I did the exercises, and I am telling you, I can feel like, I really do feel like I'm getting clear. If that makes no sense to you, I'm sorry. But for those of you guys who speak the same language I do, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.